If we apply the set and the drift of the tide to the 11:30 dead reckoning DR position, we'll have converted this position to an 11:30 estimated position EP. To work out the set direction and the drift speed of the tide, we refer to the tidal diamonds on the nautical chart or to the tidal stream atlas. Let's assume that at that time the set is 110 degrees, which means that the direction of the tide is towards 110 degrees, and the drift is three knots. To apply the set direction of the tide on the 11:30 dead reckoning DR position, we place the parallel ruler on the 110 degree line of the compass rose, and transfer that line to the DR position. To apply the drift speed of the tide on the 11:30 dead reckoning DR position to our time frame, we use the formula d is equal to s times t divided by 60, where d is the distance in nautical miles, s is the tide speed, and t is the time in minutes. In our case, three knots times 90 minutes divided by 60. Equals 4.5 nautical miles. Using the dividers, we span a distance of 4.5 miles on the latitude scale, which is closest to the course line and which runs along the sides of the chart. We apply this span, placing one leg of the dividers on the 11:30 DR position, and the other leg on the 110 degrees tide set, marking the new position with a triangle. Recording the time as 11:30. This is our 11:30 estimated position (EP). Using the parallel ruler, we transfer the 0:45 degrees course to the new 11:30 estimated position, and from there we continue to plot our new positions as we progress on our route.